Welcome along to our fifth video tutorial where we are learning how to transition from block based coding in Scratch over to text based coding in Python. In today's video, I'm going to show you two tricks. I'm going to show you how to draw a circle, first of all, in both Scratch and Python. And then over in Python, I'm just going to show you how you can fill those circles in with a color. Okay, to get started, we're going to begin in Scratch by going to events and bringing out the usual block of when the green flag is clicked. So when our program is run, what do we want to do? Well, I'm going to go to the pen tab here. Remember, if you can't see this pen tab, go to the blue button at the bottom to add in the pen extension. First thing we're going to do is erase all. So we start with an empty blank canvas. We're then going to set our pen color to whatever color you want to draw your circle um, today. So I'm just going to choose this pinky color. Then I'm going to go to the last block and choose set pen size to 10. So we've got a nice thick line for our circle. And to draw a circle, um, this is the tedious part. We need to repeat some code 360 times. We know there's 360 degrees in a circle. It's a full revolution. And all we need to do is move one step at a time. And turn left or right, it doesn't matter which one, one degree. Okay, a bit tedious, but that is it. Let me give it a run and I'll show you what happens. Oops, we might need to make our cat a bit smaller. And I have left a block of code out, which is putting the pen down, ready to start drawing here. So make sure your pen goes down before you start drawing. There we go. Now we can see it. So it's a bit slow, but each time that cat moves, he's moving one step at a time and he's moving one degree at a time until he does the full 360 degree revolution. And that's how you draw a circle quite easily, I suppose, in Scratch. Now, I don't know if there's a way that you can actually fill that circle in with a particular color. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. We're going to go over to Mu so we can start coding that up in Python. So the first line that we write in is from turtle import star. You should be getting used to writing that line by now. It's just importing all the code to allow us to draw on the screen. Uh, now, first thing I'm going to do today is put in a comment that says setup. And I'm going to put in a block of code you haven't used before, which is changing the background color. The way we change the background color using text-based coding is write BG color. That stands for background color. And in brackets and quotation marks, you can pick any color. I'm going to choose aqua. That's a nice light blue. If I save that code, I'm going to call this number five circles and give it a run. Your screen will come up with whatever background color you decided on. Okay, so BG color is aqua. Now I'm going to put in another comment here that says first circle. We're going to draw two circles today. This is going to be the first one. So the first thing I'm going to do is lift my, whoops, I've got the caps lock on. I'm going to lift my pen up off the page and go to a set of coordinates. First one is minus 250 for the X value, moving us to the left hand side of the page. And the second one is going to be minus 300, which is moving us down near the bottom of the page. Then I'm going to put my pen down, ready to start drawing. Before I do start drawing, I'll pick a color. This time I'm going to choose hot pink. And we can then draw our circle, which is going to be the word circle and 100 inside of it. 100 is just the radius, so that's the size of the circle. Obviously, the bigger the number, the bigger the circle. So let's give that a test run and see what it looks like. Here it is. So we've got our hot pink circle, size 100. If I half that size, say size 50, you'll see that the circle just becomes a bit smaller. Okay, so just play around with that number there until you're happy. I'm going to stick with circle 100. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was how to fill it in with a particular color. Okay, so we've already got hot pink selected. Let's stick with that as our fill color for now. To fill it in, what you need to do is just go before the word circle 100 and write begin underscore fill bracket bracket. And beneath that circle, I want you to write end underscore fill bracket bracket okay so we've started to tell the computer to fill in our shape we draw our shape it gets filled in with whatever color we've chosen above 
and then we end that fill so we stop anything else from getting filled in we give that a run now you'll see that the circle gets drawn and then it will be colored in hot pink okay perfect that's the first circle I'm going to draw another circle now up here in the top right. And I'm going to show you how you can have both a fill color, which is the inside fill color, plus a stroke or a border color, which is the outline of the shape. So I'm going to put in another comment here that says second circle. And I guess it's pretty similar code. So we start by going with pen up. We move to our desired coordinates. So this time I'm going to go to 250 for the X value. That's moving to the right hand side of the page. And 100 for the Y value, which moves up the page. Once in position, we put the pen down ready for drawing. Now to pick our colors here, what we're going to do is we're going to pick our outline color first, which is going to be black. Put that in quotation marks and inside a bracket there. We then put a comma, open up a another set of quotation marks and choose your fill color so what's the inside of the circle going to be filled in i'm going to choose yellow and that is it basically we've now chosen our two colors we want in our circle i'm going to change my pen size to five so that the outline or the stroke is going to have a thicker um, line and then we're going to draw our circle at 100. Now this isn't going to work properly. Let me show you what happens though. First one will work fine. Second one will draw, but it won't fill in. Okay. And the reason it's not filling in is because we need to use begin fill and end fill around the word circle, like we did above just here. Okay, so before we draw the circle, we need to turn on the fill color. So that's what begin fill does. And once we've finished drawing the shape, we just need to turn off that fill color by writing end fill. While we're here, we might as well add in hide turtle at the bottom because that is all of our code done. Let's give it a run. Pink circles drawn. See the black line and the yellow fill color now inside. If you want to change that up a bit, feel free to maybe change this over here. Let's change that outline color to lime. And you'll see that when you draw this second circle in a moment, you get a green border instead of a black one. Okay, so just play around with those colors until you get something that you are happy with. But you now know how to draw circles quite easily just by using the word circle and putting a number next to it. And you've also learned how to fill in the color of shapes by using begin fill and end fill. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. I will catch you in the next one.